Good morning, this video is about probiotics. Uh, over 13 years we've had a lot of people ask us questions about probiotics and we thought we'd just give you a little ditty on the what, the why, and the when, and how. Probiotics, uh, as the word describes, pro is for, biosis is the bacteria in your guts, so from the lower part of your stomach all the way to the end of your colon. There's an environment and it needs a certain amount of bacteria in there to process and function. Without the right bacteria, you will get dysfunction or malease of your bowels, changing in what you absorb, how they function, the flow rate, the cilia, the mucus that allows the flow, and more important, what your body is able to bring up through the cilia, the hair, into through the lumen and transport into the blood to deliver to your cells. So, right bacteria is good, bad bacteria is bad. A lot of people over time, the majority of the United States at least, will get an infection and what they do after they get an infection uh, whether it's in their sinus in their ears or in their body they'll take an antibiotic it's going to kill the bacteria fine but antibiotics don't discriminate on I'm only going to go find the bugs that are causing you a problem and leave everything else alone they are they work whether they're gram positive or gram negative or there's a certain style of drugs your doctor is prescribing you those antibiotics can also devastate the good bacteria in your body so the majority of why people take probiotics is to re-inoculate their body with bacteria you want to have. So you take your antibiotic, let's say it's a four-week antibiotic, you take it for a couple weeks, and then on your last couple weeks of your antibiotic, you'll start taking your probiotic with it. So while you finish your antibiotic, you're inoculating and laying down good ground after bad ground's been torn up or devastated. Uh, thus keeping the guts healthy, thus taking a probiotic for a month, maybe two, and then you really don't need it again. Some people will take a probiotic two a day for the rest of their lives. Um, if you have special needs, we consider special doses. So will it hurt you? No. If you've got gastric bypass, if you've had lap band, if you've got parts of your guts removed, whether it's parts of your intestine or you've had the eight inches of your colon removed or whatever the story it may be, if the more you change the circumstance, the more you change the need, the more you need something you wouldn't have needed should things have been normal. So there's just kind of a brief overview. Hope that makes sense. But do I recommend to all my clients that everybody take two probiotics every day for healthy bowel? No. What we do recommend when you do need one is a broad spectrum probiotic. Um, what that means is it doesn't just have acidophilus or lactobacillus or bifidophilus. It doesn't have just a single strain in it. It has a broad spectrum probiotic to fill in the needs where the needs are. So unless you know what you need, taking acidophilus from your yogurt may not do anything beneficial for you because it's not the one you needed. So we don't mess around, we just get a broad spectrum heavy dose probiotic um, based on the patient's needs. We'll write a certain prescription or need or dose um, to get the patient in a better situation but I would never recommend a single strain or a few strain probiotic and I definitely wouldn't recommend yogurt. You need like 40 cups a day to begin to get a minimal medical dose so it doesn't have close to what you want. Uh, not to mention my thoughts on dairy and yogurt. We'll skip that out of this video. But anyway, there's the overview on probiotics. If you've got any questions, please email or ask and uh, check things out. Make sure that the story sounds straight. Don't just believe any doctor. Um, but hopefully this will provoke you to think outside the box. Make it a great day.